I'm Margaret Ross, and we're in Margaret Ross Jewelry Design Studio in downtown Mason, Michigan. The, the very first jewelry piece I remember making is eight years old. Um, that, was, that was a long time ago. You know, with babysitting money and such, I would go buy more beads. Um, and I would put together more stretchy bracelets and such. And, and I was such a tomboy that I was, I was not gonna be wearing any of this jewelry that I was making when I make it, so. Anyway, uh, I, I did a number of pieces and, um, and I was encouraged. So as a little kid, people are saying, oh, this is really pretty and, and, uh, and you, you wanna please people and such. So I, and I, I love the creativity of it. So in high school, I took an adult ed class in the evenings, and it was a jewelry making class. And I knew, at that point I knew, I wanted to pursue it as a, as a career, as a vocation. And uh, I, I went to Michigan State, and they had a program over there. Um, so I studied fine arts with an emphasis in metals. So at Michigan State, you know, with their fine arts program, my third year, they announced after fall term that they're cutting the metal program. And during holiday break, I was um, working at a bead shop for holiday money and such, and uh, I was sharing my woes that my specific curriculum wasn't going to be there when I went back to school. and. Um, they knew of a jeweler who was looking for an apprentice. And I said, oh, really? Well, I would like to meet him. So um, I did uh, set up the opportunity to meet him. And again, we could talk jewelry 24 seven and just never get bored of each other, you know? So um, I ended up getting the apprenticeship. So um, I approached my parents and asked about uh, my leaving MSU and uh, working with this jeweler during the day and I'll continue business school at night. So at least get your associates in business and, and finish up that so you have some kind of uh, certificate. So, so that's what I did. jewelry when you come in here people notice that this is not your high-end jewelry this is not your precious metals this I I tease this is precious in different ways um, I do a lot of personalization I do sterling silver I'll do gold filled I'll do brass bronze copper you know rugged I'll mix the metals you know things again things that shouldn't work um, I can put it together and and it seems to work and people seem to like it The favorite part about owning uh, Margaret Ross Jewelry is the people. I think if you can please people, you know, and uh, again, using an, an artistic talent, if, if I can please people and have them come back, that is, that is an affirmation right there. And, um, and I, I, I do hear a lot, what you do is so meaningful and it's so special. You know, jewelry is such a personal piece. If I can design something that, that kind of tells their story, um, that's an honor, that's, that's just, uh, that's a good thing. 